everyone, welcome to my channel Thread the Needle. Uh, my name is Vani and I live in Newfoundland, Canada. If this is your first time joining me here, thank you for joining me and welcome. This is my floss tube channel where I talk about all things full coverage cross stitch. That is the type of cross stitch that I like to do. I really, really enjoy it. If you are returning to my channel to catch up on another video, Thank you so much for coming back, and I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna dive right in. I stuck to my rotation this time, and it works. I get to work on a multiple number of different projects, because as you can see, I have a wide variety of projects that in my arsenal, and I'm never able to choose on my own which ones to choose. So I have an app for that. And as I start my stitching for the day, the week, whatever stitching period that I'm in, I spin my app and it tells me what project to pick out and work on for a determined period of time. For me, it's um, a particular number of stitches. So I've decided every time I land on an, a project that the app selects for me, I want to get in at least 400 to 500 stitches in before I move on to the next one, which again, I let the app choose. So um, I really enjoyed it this time. I got some downtime and I think I caught up on a little bit of sleep from my busyness previously. So I was actually able to put in some solid stitching hours, which it just made me happy. That's really what I enjoy. It It's my happy place. I'm calmer. I just that is how I unwind and I really enjoy cross stitching and especially sharing with you what I like to do so let's jump right in um I don't know if I have this in order but let's try I'm just gonna go with the first project I have in my pile I'm not sure if I kept it in an order but it's um prelude to a kiss by Josephine Wall and I am stitching it on uh, 22 count two over one full cross so let me see if I can fold the fabric enough so I can show you first I'm going to show you the area where I actually added some stitches in so right here is where I am so I was able to fill in uh, a little bit more stitches and you can see the gentleman's face coming out a little bit more and I think down here his guitar is going to shape up really nicely so it's coming along lovely. And here is how much I've got done so far on this piece. The detail in this is like ridiculous, as are all Joe Wall's pieces. So that's a lovely one. Then this one, I admit sometimes I just get in the groove and I wanna finish a diagonal or get to a certain point in the project. And that's what happened with this one. This one started as a mystery cell, and then obviously I didn't finish it within the lot of time, so now it's in my whip rotation, and it's the Sleepy Owlet. And here is the section that I was working on, and then I'll show you the whole area. I should probably fold this a little bit differently. This one is being stitched on um, 18 count, two over one full cross, and here is the area of which I was working on right here. As you can see, I got very, very close to completing a diagonal. Um, you can't tell, so I could probably just say that, yes, I completed the diagonal, but there's one beige color that I ran out of and I have to go get some more. So that's my Sleepy Owlet. I just really, really love working on this piece. Here's what it looks like so far it's oh it's adorable and i just really really love it i can't i can't wait every time it comes in my rotation it's so much fun to work on uh next up is the current mystery cell by the crash stitch studio the same one that the owl was with um this one i also have not kept up on um but as I picked it up during this rotation, um, 
I realized the last few times that I worked on it, I was kind of losing my stitching bug and I couldn't figure out what it was, if it was the way I was stitching, stitching on it. Um, I wasn't sure if the fabric was right or because I'm doing two over one on 22 count. However, it's a dyed fabric, so it's slightly smaller than that. And two over one was getting a little bit bulky, shall we say, but I still went along with it. And this time when it came in my rotation, I actually paused and I tried a section of one over one on this fabric and it looked okay. And then I was like, should I or shouldn't I? I was like, I, I really got this close to restarting the project. And then I don't know what made me just continue on. And I think I changed my the tension in my stitches or something changed and it just fell together. And I actually made quite a bit of progress on this page. So here's what I got done now. So I was able to pull together quite a bit of progress on that. And I actually got into it this time. I got really excited about it. So I think I'm just gonna keep going with this one and see where it goes. It, um, I guess it just depends on your stitching method. If you're being too tight with your stitches, then the whole project gets tight and you can't get your needle in and through. And so you just have to loosen up a little bit and it gives you a little bit more wiggle room, I guess, in the confetti heavy areas. So I'm going to keep going with this one because I like what's, what's happening. And, um, it's an, another project that's around for the long haul. So on we go to my favorite. So this one is World Traveler Bookshelf. Uh, excuse me as I dropped the project. Um, by Amy Stewart. And it's really become one of my favorites because it has so many of the colors that I really, really enjoy. Um, as I check my notes to see. Yeah, so... I was able to fill in a little bit more of the area where I was. So we got in here. So we got in more of the, I'm going to try and focus. It's not focusing. So I got in more of the hot air balloon and a little bit more of the sky. And it's just such a joy to stitch on. This one is being stitched on 25 count one over one full cross and if you're not aware the bookshelves by Amy Stewart are massive massive pieces of artwork and which is why I originally selected 25 count to stitch on um, but my plan is to stitch each shelf individually some may not agree with this and some think that you know you shouldn't disturb the artwork the way that it is I just don't have the time or the wall space to I don't think I'm gonna get it all done so just in case I've split it up into bookshelves I'm gonna finish the first bookshelf first frame it put it up on the wall I'm actually thinking of framing it in a um, like a canvas backing so it's not actually a frame it's just gonna look like a, a canvas on canvas so that's my plan for this one um, always a joy to pick up whenever it comes around in rotation then lastly, I have pulled together, which one did it, was it? Yes, Enchanted Garden. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it this year. That was the idea at the beginning of the year because there was not very much left on it to do. But unless it comes around in my rotation or unless I make a decision to pick this up and finish it before the year end, then I'm close, but not yet. So I was working on the bottom half of the project. So here is where I'm at with it. So I filled in quite a bit of the dress and it's coming along really, really nicely. And here is what it looks like. This one is stitched on uh, 18 count, two over one full cross. So that's it. That's the full, full piece from top to bottom. Um, that's all of it. So it's a super joy to stitch on. This is like one of my favorite pieces too, because it's, um, it's so tiny, but look at all the detail that comes out, even just in her face, her hair, the flowers in her hair, the dress, and now the skirt. It's, it's my favorite. Have I said that about multiple pieces? I probably have. It's just what it is. 
all of them are my favorites all of them um so what's upcoming plans i aim to continue stitching on my full coverage pieces uh oh let's why don't we point out and see what's what um this one right here is uh ganesha all of them are heaven and earth designs this one is ganesh i've been working on it for quite a long time this one is mini moose crossing this one is mini avarice what one is that oh this one is sapphire um mini little dreamers tree uh golden promises and autumn owl trio i i just love looking at them and i hope you do too so um, future plans for the next couple of weeks continue stitching and then towards the by the time i get the next video out we're going to be in like mid-november so i should have my december stitching plans and my christmas countdown plans kind of sort of maybe in place and i'll let you know i had a lot of suggestions from all of you about what challenges i should use this year for my christmas countdown uh, I learned a little bit from last year of what I, what to do, what not to do, what I think I'm capable of doing and how to still have fun because isn't that the point of all of this? Even though you're stitching and you're working on all your projects, it's the fun. It's because you like it. That's why you're doing it. So uh, that's why I do it anyway, because I enjoy it so much. And so I'm really looking forward to the Christmas countdown, but I have to, I was super organized last year and I feel so not this year. <laughs> Or at least I'm behind in my organization because I feel like I was at least had it down on paper an idea of what I wanted to do and and I'm very um, I like lists and checklists and I had that all in place last year so I don't know what's happening this year it's just a lot going on so I hope to maybe recheck my notes from last year and figure it out because I really liked where I was able to post a poll on my Instagram so you can check out my Instagram to follow me at uh, my stitch diary and I posted a poll where you selected which project was going to be stitched on which day and then I would pull a random challenge to go along with that project for example I had to complete 100 stitches on it um, and then along with my coffee of the day so it was just fun all around hectic Christmas countdown but oh so much fun and I really enjoyed just the whole all of it just all of it I loved it all I got to stitch got to drink some really delicious coffee and I got some lovely gifts from my crafty friends and we're doing it again this year so if you haven't checked out my Christmas videos from last year do so I think you'll really like them um, they're very short short videos and it was just so much fun to do so Thank you for joining me here today uh, for this update. It has been wonderful to spend this time with you and I really hope you come back again next time. Uh, have a great stitching time. Bye everyone.